Okay. Welcome to the premiere. We are. This is week three of the VDLV. We are facing Lucian, the coach of Rebellion. Um, so yeah. What have we got? Tauros, Gengar, Gothi Tell, yeah. Uh, Avalog, Bro Bonnet, I didn't expect. Um, Cycles are could be annoying. Alright, we lead long. <laughs> and we lead. We lead a uh, Reggie Alaki. Um, kind of what I had planned. He brought more or less what I thought he would. Um. Can bring the pink arch if we want to stop spores. Um, paradoxes. What do I want to bring? No garganical. That's a surprise, to be honest. Um, hmm. I'm gonna call your bluff, you're not bringing, um... Oh, fright, we forgot to do open team sheet. This is the turn one I like to see. Okay, he's working on his open terror sheet, he forgot to make one. Uh, that's annoying, that's worst case scenario here. What do you shut tail into? Right, we've got a star sheet. Um, it's for the most part same type terror, it's just a bit weird. It could be Gengar or something, from Fine Wolf. Um, uh, uh, Bonnet is Grass Terror, which is weird. Gothi Tell is Psychic Terror. Uh, Gengar's Ground, Tauros is Ground, Avalog's Water, Cyclozar's Water. Yeah, fair enough. But you're not you you know not gonna trap me in her. Please Dragon Tail Connect. Bam. Bye bye. Cyclozar is dragged out. Troy hmm. Scarf. Oh, Troy Scarf. Right, Bonnet. Okay. Booster energy and attack. 
damage. Yep. Attack. Will you get rid of the sub? Out comes a T-Bolt. That will kill. Definitely. Hmm. Critical hurt doesn't matter. If it was like a sludge bomb, it might, like, crit might matter, but I'm not loading a T-Bolt. Uh, Ooh, Okay. We've got a coil up, that's good. We know that there's, there isn't a Tauros, which is a bit strange. Um, hmm. Oh, what's that doing? That is terroring. Oh, did they terror ground terror blast into my thorns? It could be the case. I don't see why else they terror her. Okay, okay, okay. Does Brute Bonnet protect? That is the question. Yeah, they... <laughs> they go for Terra Blast Ground. Oh, that is really unfortunate. Does the Hyperdrill kill? That's the question. I thought Terra Blast would do slightly more. Yes, cool. So this game goes T-Bolt Terror Blast. Uh, I'm very intrigued as to what the rest of the set is. Okay. I'm feeling pretty comfortable here. Um... Rock's like breaks a sash on Gengar and could potentially break a sub as well. Oh, we see breaking swipe. That's interesting. Obviously, uh, we are Claire Amulet. We do see a T Bolt. We do love. Okay, okay. Oh, he had, wait, he had a substitute up, I'm an idiot. I just didn't notice the substitute. Okay. Um... It might not be so, actually, you never know. Um... I think I'm fairly comfortable. That switches, that's fine. 
This Gengar protects. I'm not sure this Gengar will have protect. Yeah. You take out uh, Thorns. That's fine. Um. Ooh. This is bad. Does it? Is it Sash? Yeah, it's Sash. Um. Okay. It could be a fake out Shadow Ball or fake out Perish Trap. Which, me not having Protect on this thing is really bad. I'm beginning to run out of Hyper Drills. Um, I have the Accuracy Boost, so Drill Run is 100% accurate. I'm f uh, this is getting definitely getting fake faked out, right? There's no way. You're faking out something. Oh. Never mind. That's bad. That cursed body is actually really unlucky. Um, would have been nice if we could hyper draw here, but I really didn't think you'd go for this play. Okay, um, Cyclozar will come in and knock out, um, the Valiant. The Dunsparce is just looking great here. He's just kind of sat there doing shit, so... Yeah, of course, Regenerator. That Gothi Tail should die to a Hyper Drill, I believe. It's higher power and um, stab, so. Either way, it's still our top priority to knock out, because there's a good chance the Cyclozar's only offensive move is Breaking Squipe. The Gothi Tail Psychics could do some decent damage. We do see an Ice Spinner, okay. So it's definitely physical, we don't have to worry about like a Draco Meteor doing a ton of damage, because we've obviously got that defense boost. Okay. Um Even if we click Hyper Drill last turn it wouldn't have mattered because it has the citrus. Um That's a lot of damage. Okay. Even if Gothi Tell protects, I don't think Cyclozar wins. I think we're I think we're simply too bulky for the Cyclozar to kill. We saw how little that breaking swipe did. It like barely, it did like five damage. Like it just didn't do anything. I don't think the Cyclozar can kill us. We, even if the Gothi Top attacks, we still just have to focus down that slot. Okay, there's no attack, we should win. Yeah, point proven. <laughs> that did no damage. Now, naturally, he's going to go Tauros to counter the Duns boss. But what he doesn't know is uh, I'm rattled, so the, in the Intimidate doesn't affect me because of Clear Amulet. But Rattled still activates, giving me a speed boost, allowing me to outspeed the majority of his team. Which is a tech that I tested out. It is pretty funny. It's like Defiant, but instead of getting attack boost, I just get a speed boost. <laughs> okay. The Dunsparce carried. I'm not gonna lie. Did the Dunsparce get every kill? No, Valiant got one. The Dunsparce got three kills. 
<laughs> Bro, the dance boss is cracked. <laughs> okay. Okay. We just gotta take one more game. Okay. Um, I'm fine with the same lead. I'm completely fine with the same lead. So literally just like this. Um, what adaptations do I want to make? Um, I'm fully expecting Taurus this game. So I think what I brought was fine. Brute Bonnet didn't do a lot. So it will probably come in the place of that. Which makes me less worried about um, the spore stuff. Um, yeah, I don't have like a psychic move or anything, but... Ele uh, obviously Hydro Hum um, and Terra Blast deal with it quite well. If it close Terra Ground, Hydro Hum is still super effective. Um, I have Terra Fire on this thing to prevent a Wisp and to also make close combat neutral. And there's nothing he can really hit Terra Fire super effective for other than Terra Blast from Gengar. We know the scarf is on Cyclozar. Avalog is interesting. Oh, it's a turn one Draco. Okay. We just died to that. It's locked into Draco. That's something. That is something. Um, that does make our lives way harder, though. We get off the coil. Body press. Oh, God. Right. What? Oh fuck! Was it picking up my showdown that entire time? Oh, I hadn't been recording the game, had I? Oh shit. I'm just hoping this kills. I was gonna calc it, but I don't have time now. Oh god, my recording might be fucked. Okay. That is some damage. Okay. Iron Herd. We naturally live that? That's kind of crazy. Um. Oh, 
Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm actually so stupid. I should have targeted the other way around. I forgot about Sakura. What? Did that crit? You're kidding me. That crit! No! Um... Okay... Okay, they create a body press. Cyclozo comes out... Do we know what the last one is yet? No. I'm clicking terrifying in case you have a log lips or I miss or something. Oh god, it's Gengar. I was hoping it'd be Tauros. But that is quite bad, because now you can T-Bolt, because I have revealed my terror. Uh, okay. Avalog lives. Which is, um, that's pretty bad, you could say that. Um... I should have just taken a kill there, really. I forget that I should be doing that. Like, if I'm already lost, then I can just get a kill, which kinda helps with differential stuff. Okay. Um, have a look. Hmm. Have a lot. This Troy Scarf Cyclops is a really good bring. Um, that kind of messes me up. Because Cyclops are Avalok, which usually do quite a passive lead, but it's really easy for me to take advantage of. However, I can't really do that here.
I don't know if this will work, I'm hoping it will. I'm not really going Pink Kirchen because, like, the Don the, the Don's Buzz is still a really solid mode if I can remove the Avalog. I was fully expecting the Tauros for the adaptation against uh, the Don's Buzz. Not Avalog. Brute Bonus Cycles are okay. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I lose immediately. Um, probably. Mm -hmm. Actually, I because I have Lum, I can Sword Stance her. The Spore, if you're gonna click Spore, it's going into Thorns. I guess I'm a little scared of like, close combat. Terra immediately. Terra Grass? Terra Drat, bro! That's not on the team sheet. Hey, uh... That's not on the team sheet. Um, okay. Well, that fucks me completely. I thought he was Terra Grass, offensive. But now my game plan just doesn't work, because I can't Terra Blast him. Jeez. Um, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Um, okay. What the fuck? Uh... Alright, we are going to redo the game 3. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna 
give you guys the way. We will, as soon as we've got everything sorted out, we'll be straight back in the battle. Okay, we are back. Um... Right, we're just sorting it out. So we are going to play the same lead and turn one as we did in the game three. So because otherwise the Lumberry information being revealed is a bit unfair. Um Is this what I had? Um obviously he doesn't have to Terra, he is Terra Grass now. Okay, so his uh, his brute bonnet is Terra Grass now, just as the team sheet said. Um, that was his decision. I guess his other choice could have been like keep it as Terra Dragon, but like now I know it's Terra Dragon. Um, but it's just simpler this way because we can just do the same plays as we did game one. Because um, obviously my plays game one was keeping in mind that the moon that the brute bonnet could not defensively Terra. Um, again, we're doing the same play. Um, Yeah, we're just doing the same play because otherwise the Lumberry is information is essentially revealed for free because of his mistake, which is just like, yeah. Um, he terrors? I told him he could just not terror. I explicitly said he doesn't have to terror if he doesn't want to. Um, okay. I take the Draco. Does connect sword stance. Um, I feel kind of bad now, but like I did, I did tell him not to terror if he didn't want to. Um, yeah. What could he shed tail into? I think Iron had safe us. Yeah, I told him he doesn't have to Terra. Um This is essentially the same play I made turn uh, turn two of game three. But just not targeting the brute bonnet with treads. He quit out before the... Oh, we get a free Iron Head. That's very nice. That's very nice. Mobile Switch. Okay. Brings in Gengar. This is fine by me. This is completely fine. Okay. And we iron head the Avalog on the switch in. Um, my... I keep wanting to say Teeter. My Iron Thorn is not in range of the... Um... Of the Thunderbolt. I want to double it just in case it misses. It does have protect. I didn't expect that actually. 
Um, it's rock rock slide. Not enough, right? Okay, it is. Okay, thank God. The critical. Oh, that might be. Did that matter? I don't know. This is a plus two attack Iron Thorns, so I'm pretty sure it's max attack Adamant. Uh, yeah, uh, it's not Adamant actually. It is Jolo. Um. We switch out of the sword stance boosts. Like, I don't care, you're just gonna Draco T ball. And then I'm dead. The dance boss isn't super important in this matchup. Are you probably wondering why I made the move I did? Uh, Knockoff removes the Choice Scar from Cyclozar. Um, making Iron Bundle completely safe to come in here and click Icy Wind. That is why I did that. Uh, it's also low enough health that it can't click Chatel, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm just gonna Iron Head because I've already revealed that. And... Actually no, I will click, um, I'll click Stomping Tantrum, just because I don't want Iron Head getting Curse Bodied. I'm feeling fairly comfortable. Get the regenerator HP back. Protect, that's fine. These are the two Pokemon I don't care about. It's the Iron Bundle and the Thorns that are, that are going to be the killers. Uh, it could be a Rage Powder. Um... um. We don't know what this Brute Bonnet set is, obviously. We've seen Circle Punch, we've seen the Attack Boost. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. Well, we just kill it. We just get the knockout on Cycles off. Um, I don't especially care. I'd like some damage on Brute Bonnet, but it doesn't really matter. Um, these two don't matter. Like, I just straight up, these two Pokemon don't matter at this point. I'm just waiting for him to knock them out at this point. Um... It's fine. Uh, Brute Bonnet outspeeds here, right? Right, we see the Bullet Seed. Which is into Iron Tread, so we, we quite possibly will get a free... Um... Oh, but he's not, he's, there's no load of dice. Oh, that's sad. Alright, we get the Hyper Drill off. That's, that's in range of a Terra Blast now. Um... Okay, Gengar just protected, so I'm more than happy to double it. And we've seen... Yeah. I'm pretty sure he can't Rage Powder.
We see the bullet seed. I live? Uh, that's like, kind of annoying. I didn't want to live that. Um, I really wanted you to just knock me out there. We can't bring in Thorns because of Sucker Punch plus T-Bolt. Um, this guy not dying there is really bad. Just straight up, it's really bad. I don't think Bonnet has protect. Um... So, okay, that's fine. Um... I think. Wait, oh... Uh, this freeze strike doesn't kill, we lose. Oh, thank god. Okay, thank god. Yeah. Right. Also, I am aware my... Yeah, my chroma's covering up some, some of my screen at some point. I hope this recording is uh, usable. If it's usable, then uh, you'll be seeing this. Hello. Uh, if not, then I'm talking to myself. Um, bar a T-Bolt crit, we win. Or a T-Bolt... Power plus full power. Um, I don't quite understand that. Okay. Please, just nothing incredibly BS. Okay. Okay. Ooh, good game. Good game. Okay. That was scary. <laughs> oh, okay. We take a win. We take the win. Okay. That was very close. That was very close. Okay. Well, if you made it this far into the premiere, then thank you for watching, and I will see you all next week. Bye!